More salt. She wants soft skin. Hi, pal. Come look at the bathroom. Oh, I shouldn't have come in here. As we all know, I love cleaning, and I thought for today's video we could test out some new hacks, and also I'll share with you guys some of my favorite cleaning tips and things that I use to keep your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, everything clean. Shout out to The Real Bro for sponsoring this video. Get some baking soda, get some vinegar. Let's go. First up, my tip that I like to use amongst all of my drawers, please don't mind this drawer, I haven't cleaned it in a very long time, but a tip that I have for you to do to keep your closet clean, I do this every few months or so, is I go through my drawers, I have a lot in here, and what I'm gonna do is go through and figure out which ones I love to wear still, which ones I haven't worn in a long time, and then from there I can purge and then keep the ones that I actually do wear. We have gone through the piles and I found all the things I wanna keep, all the purge pile stuff is over there, and now with everything left, I can easily organize it. I personally like to organize by color. You totally don't have to, but for me, it just makes everything so much easier. You can find things, grab it, and go, and it just saves a lot of time in the long run. All right, guys, I finished organizing the drawer. It looks so much better now. As you can see, I color-coded. I also got to organize all my shorts and my skirts, and overall, it's just a lot easier to keep clean, especially because I purged the stuff that I don't even wear anymore. So speaking of purging, if you are going through your closet and you find some designer goods that maybe you don't wear as much anymore, the real Real is the perfect place to sell them. And on the other side, let's say you just purged your closet and you have a ton of space now and you want to purchase a nice designer good, the Real Real is the place for you. So if you guys have not heard of the Real Real, I have been using them for years. They sponsor the podcast, they sponsor the vlog channel. Like I am obsessed. They're a luxury consignment shop. They not only have in-person stores, they also have an app and a website where they sell the best designer brands from like Chanel to Fendi to Gucci to Louis Vuitton to Prada, all the things. Also, do not worry. If you purchase from them, everything is 100% authenticated by X so you know you're not going to get a fake item. I trust the Real Real with my life, and especially this month, they are giving you guys a reason to sell every single day of January. Today's theme is if it doesn't spark joy for you, it will spark for someone else, which is very true. And again, with this whole like purging mentality, the Marie Kondo mentality, it is amazing. In particularly, my off-white bag, designer like goods. They would definitely know that this isn't real and that Alicia made me this. I love this bag so much. It's the Gucci wallet on a chain. I think that's what it's called. I love this bag. It's so beautiful, but honestly, I just don't wear her anymore and I don't really wear gold much anymore. So if you've been wanting this bag and you specifically want one from me, check it out. It'll be on the real well very soon. There's multiple ways to sell. You can drop it off at their stores. You can also ship it in, drop it off curbside, whatever you guys want to do. It's basically just like an amazing company. And if you're looking to consign, designer goods, this is the place. Also, this month is the perfect month to sell if you've been thinking about it because this month you will get actually $500 store credit to the Real Real if you sell. I'm gonna be selling this month. So if you guys wanna learn more about selling with the Real Real, click the link down below, purge your closets, have some fun. Let's get on with the tip. First up, we are going to start in the closet. You are gonna need some dryer sheets. If you don't wanna use dryer sheets, you can use a little wool ball, put some essential oils on it, use whatever you want. You're just going to open up a drawer or if you have a stack of clothing, all you're gonna do is take a couple of these sheets, honestly, I think I'm gonna tear them and mm -hmm. have to use less. You can just hide a couple in between some of your clothes and this is gonna help keep everything smelling nice and fresh and it's that easy. I'll do one there. Definitely don't put too many in here because you don't want to overpower the drawer, but this will keep everything smelling nice and fresh. You can do this in stacks of clothes in the closet. If you have a hanger like this, you can put them on the hangers just to help everything smell nice and fresh and clean. Welcome to my bathroom. I feel the most happy when my bathroom is clean. I don't know about anybody else, but I truly mean that. And these are a few things that you can do to help clean up your bathroom. First of all, the sinks in my bathroom are awful. Awful, awful, awful. They get clogged all the time. So a new thing that I have started using that has really helped me, I know not everybody agrees with using it, and a lot of people say it's bad for your sinks. This is truly the only thing that I've found that works for my sinks. Every few months I'll do some Drano or like liquid plumber into there and it really helps just kind of clear everything out. So as you can see, I have poured it into my, ew, they're so dirty, please don't judge me. I let them get dirty for this video, I swear, but they're really dirty, ew! Sorry, I swear, I let that build up for a while for this. But with that being said, about 15 minutes ago, I poured in some liquid plumber into the sinks. We are boiling some water because you need to pour 
boiling water down the sink. So this is gonna help clear everything out. It smells like chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Doesn't is it? Is that good? <laughs> I don't know why. Why does it smell like chicken? I don't know. All right, well now we're just gonna let these drain and then I'll show you how to clean them after. All right, these things are about to change your life if you're looking to clean your sink. We have baking soda, which just helps kind of get all the grime and like other things off. This thing I've recently tried, it has changed my life. It's called a scrub daddy. I think it was on Shark Tank. If you've never tried one, try one. It's like the most durable sponge thing I've ever used and they last a really long time. So I got this as well as just any sort of bathroom cleaner. This one's a Lysol one. I always keep other ones down here. Also this Clorox one is almost out, but this one's good too. Any sort of cleaner. Roll up the sleeves. Now we're gonna take our baking soda and you're just gonna lightly sprinkle some. Oh, we got clumps. You're gonna take any sort of bathroom cleaner you have again. I'll do a little mixture, a cocktail for the sink. Now we take our sponge or whatever you're gonna use and just get to work and wow, look at that. So satisfying. I know. Whoever Thank thought you. I would do a video just cleaning my sink. <laughs> ASMR. Does that sound nice? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it sounds like the macaroni vines. Yeah. <laughs> the sinks are beautiful. Now we need to work on the countertop. This is just a quick little concoction. You just need some baking soda, a little bit of white distilled vinegar. Mix these two together till it's foamy. Take a little microfiber cloth, kind of absorb it, and it makes it nice and shiny and it picks up all the nasty like toothpaste, water and stuff off. Oh, look how clean that is. Beautiful, oh my God, my bathroom's so clean, I love it. <laughs> this one sounds weird, but we're gonna see if it works. You're gonna take a grapefruit slicer in half <laughs> and then you're gonna take salt. This is going to work with the citric acid that's in the grapefruit. And we're going to put salt directly onto the grapefruit. And we're just going to rub it onto the area. Get it all in there. Really work it in. And it just kind of collects all the dirt. And then we can rinse it out. And it smells fresh and clean. More salt. She wants soft skin. Hi, pal. Come look at the bathroom. Oh, I shouldn't have come in here. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna try the vinegar and the baking soda on the shower floor. Look at right. that, wow. It smells like Subway salt and vinegar chips and now I want that. She looks fantastic. Now we need hot water. <laughs> since I moved in. So try that and let's do the bathtub now. Oh my God, so clean. Mm. Wow. Random hack to spruce up the trash can smell. Take a cotton ball and then take some essential oil. We're gonna do a few drops right onto the cotton ball. Oh, it smells so good. And then you can just drop it in to the trash can. It'll absorb and it'll make your trash can smell a lot fresher until you're able to take it out. Moving on to the bedroom where the magic happens. Today, we are going to spruce up the mattress a little bit. This is really, really easy to do. It helps just kind of freshen up the mattress. Obviously, you should be washing your sheets and your pillowcases very regularly, but a mattress doesn't fit in the laundry machine. So this is a good way to kind of freshen it up. We need to start by taking off all of the pillows and things off the bed. Da, 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 da. So you gotta take the sheets off and we're gonna wash these. Oh my God, I'm gonna do a cool transition, ready? Yeah. Then you need... Then we need a box of baking soda. This is going to be our best friend throughout the video today. This does wonders. Not only does it make your, yep, it's definitely in my mouth. <laughs> Not only does it taste a little sour and make your cookies puff up, it also helps you clean literally everything. So you're gonna need an entire box of this for your bed. If you have a sifter, I would say use this. Obviously this is food safe and it just helps you kind of create an even layer across the bed. So open her up, ooh la la. So you just throw it into the sifter. You wanna create it all nice and evenly. And if you want, you can also add in some like essential oils if you want. Beautiful. She's already smelling clean. Bacon soda, I got bacon soda. <laughs> if you have a king size mattress, you're probably gonna need two boxes, but now I'm gonna let this sit on my bed for an hour. Basically, it's just going to absorb any odors, bacteria and things in the mattress, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. But for now, we let her sit. It has been an hour. We are now going to, hello. 
Hi, you want your bed back? Give me one minute. We are going to vacuum up all the baking soda now, and I just put this little attachment onto my vacuum. Suck it all up. Kind of satisfying. I know. Seriously, in all actuality, it like smells and feels cleaner already. Let's move on to another room. Welcome to the kitchen, guys. We are now in my favorite room of the house where I spend most of my time, if not on the couch. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different hacks to keep your kitchen nice and clean, smelling fresh. Some of these I've actually been doing since I was a kid because my mom taught them to me when I was younger and I've been just doing them throughout my whole life. I don't know a life without these hacks. Let's get started. Start by getting hot water. There we go. Or you can do it from a sink, whichever you prefer. Mmm, coffee remnants make it extra flavorful. <laughs> While that's going, I'm going to remove the slates off of my stove top. Whoa, they're heavy. <laughs> okay, at least I'm going to Oh my god, ow. If yours are really dirty, you can soak them in warm water, wash them with some soap and water, but mine are not too bad, so we're just going to leave them. Hot water's done. Ooh, delicious. If there's a little coffee, I think it's okay. <laughs> Should be fine. Now to the hot water, you're going to add equal parts of white distilled vinegar. The vinegar actually will break down the grease. Also, it's a disinfectant, so that's why we're using it throughout the house. Also, it's really really cheap and easy to use. Now I'm gonna take paper towels and I'm going to dip it into my mixture. Yes, get it saturated, wipe it down. Oh wow, it worked very well and it smells like salt and vinegar chips. Wow, oh my God, I've never cleaned that part. Ew. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna take a dry paper towel, wipe her all down so it's nice and dry. Wow, it looks really uh -huh. clean. I am very impressed. <laughs> Moving on, a way to clean your microwave. I don't know about you guys, but my microwave is always really dirty. I'm gonna mix equal parts again of vinegar and water. This time the water does not have to be hot. And now we're gonna microwave this for six minutes. It's gonna get all steamy in there and help just break down any grease and nasty stuff in my microwave, which I'm sure it's really gross. All right, so we're gonna open our microwave. She's, ew, a little oh. dirty. I think this is gonna help like loosen up all of the dried oh, little sauces in there. And then we're gonna have a vinegar evaporation bath. Our stove is done. She looks so clean underneath the grates. Look how beautiful this looks. This next one is one that I've been doing since I was a kid. I grew up in a Korean household and we often had different side dishes and things that often just kind of like left a smell in the fridge. So my mom taught me this when I was young and that is to get a pot of coffee grounds. You just buy like a cheap one at the store and then I always just open it up, take the top off, and then I just take like a knife and I just stab it in the top. It helps to absorb any sort of odors that are lingering in the fridge. I switch it out every like three to four months or so to keep it nice, keep it fresh. So I keep it on my door. She stays right there. She's my best friend. Try that. I swear, it's so good. It smells like a McDonald's breakfast sandwich in the microwave. I'm getting nervous. <gasps> It was bubbling. It smells kind of good though, actually. It does. Smell, it's we'll let her keep vinegar. going. We're halfway there. Another thing that I love to do, and I've showed this before on my vlog channel before. First of all, I just love lemon water as it is. I drink it pretty much every single day. It's so good. I will just take my lemons and squeeze them into my pitcher. Our lemons are juiced. I'm gonna make my lemon water out of this now, but I have all these lemons now that I don't wanna waste. So, and I'll take them over here. You throw them down your garbage disposal. Run some water over it. Turn it on. And it helps make your kitchen smell so nice and clean and fresh. It smells so good. It smells so good, I know, Ooh. right? Essential oils who? The grand reveal. Oh. Ooh. Now with a little bit of the vinegar water and a paper towel. Whoa. Oh, it comes right off. Wow. So clean. And sanitized. I don't want to fully waste this mixture, so I'm going to actually throw it in my sink, if you can see. My sink gets really like gross and dirty in here just because it's flat, so it just like holds a lot of dirt. So I'm gonna put some dish soap down first, take my vinegar mixture, pour it on top. Oh wow, oh wow, that immediately worked. Uh -huh. And just scrub her all down. Oh, look out Pinterest, <laughs> I don't need you. Okay, and it looks brand new. Yeah. 
Wow, very impressed. I made Brussels sprouts last night and my Dutch oven got a little burnt. No worries though, this is the easiest way to clean a pan or a pot or something if you burn something. It happens to me all the time. All you're gonna do is take some dish soap, a good amount, and then fill it with water, not too much. Now we put it on the stove and let it come to a boil. Our water and soap mixture is getting hot. It's starting to steam and I'm gonna go in there with a wooden spatula of some sort and just kind of start breaking the pieces off as much as I can get. Oh yeah, it's already working. The matching lid to that pot. For some reason, this happens to a lot of my different dishes and things. It kind of builds up this like sticky residue. So I'm gonna try doing this mixture of baking soda and vinegar together, just like we did upstairs in the bathroom and scrub it on with a toothbrush and see if this will help get the sticky residue off, which I think it actually will. So let's see. Get her all sudsy. I'm putting only a little bit of vinegar to make it more of like a paste. Just like my cooking, I don't measure. <laughs> oh, I think it's working. <gasps> it's definitely working. I've been trying for weeks. Ah! I'm so happy. I've really been so sad about this. Oh my gosh, I've missed you. I love this pot with my life. You know what, also I think we can use this mixture on the stove. Let's try that. Mm. See this grease bit? It's not quite grease, it's like actually burned into the stainless steel now and I try to wipe it off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I think we can use this to kind of break down mm. some of that nastiness that's on here. I'm gonna let it just sit for a minute and see what happens. Pile her on, let it do its thing. She's new! You look beautiful, old friend. Wow, that is a major glow up. Yes. Yes! Oh my gosh! It's working! <laughs> this is my favorite video I've ever made. I know. I'm just having a great time and I get to clean my kitchen. Take it over to the sink. What? <laughs> wow. Look at this. No waste here. Look at that. Damn. Using every last drop. This works! Wow. Overall, not bad at all. Now we gotta finish up the stove. Take my toothbrush. Wait, it's working! Just gonna <gasps> it's working. Okay. Wait, it's totally working! <gasps> Sorry for my enthusiasm. I just thought my stove was always gonna look like this. All right guys, overall I have learned that baking soda and vinegar are my best friends throughout this entire house. I hope you guys learned some new cleaning tips that you can incorporate into your house, your apartment, wherever you live. Let me know what worked for you guys down below. I'm gonna get back to scrubbing the stove and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!